Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. It's a uh, pretty morning, but it's a cold morning. Here's the piggies over here. Um, you can see a mountain from here. Definitely got some snow. And uh, I have some very happy piggies. I imagine they, uh, they're having a hard time getting some water. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is uh, go get their food, shut down the power, and uh, see if we can uh, get their water opened up. I don't think I could pump water to them because my hoses are probably frozen. So that's, uh, that's just how it is. <laughs> I gotta hold my camera right. And uh, yeah, so everything's looking normal. Let's get them some food. <laughs> Well, the pigs are definitely eating much better. We got their water uncovered. Unfortunately, I can't get any water to uh, out here because everything's frozen. So in the meantime, I uh, moved the chicken tractor forward, uh, fed the uh, fed the chickens. <laughs> Sorry, and then I went into the greenhouse, and now I got another problem. Uh. And it has to do with freezing temperatures. So on the uh, Dutch Beckets, they run four times in 24 hours for about 15, 20 minutes. Well, since there's water's not moving much, uh, the um, water has been freezing and part of the thing. The only reason I noticed it is my broccoli was drooping so I stole a little water out of the uh, floating rafts and hand watered the broccoli but uh, they're freezing in the corners here because it's getting cold so uh, uh, I lifted up the corners a little bit so it wouldn't have so much pulling we'll see if we can get these uh, thawed out I am running that system right now but only water is getting to about here then it's frozen at the corner and uh, so yeah winter's here there's always something well you gotta love winter so I, I lifted those corners up because got to thinking about it they kind of droop down so when the water is not running it's probably pulling up in there so if they're up high they'll drain so maybe I can fix this problem once it thaws out. But uh, gosh, there's always something. <laughs> Well, I did manage to get some the water running. So we got uh, the water all cleaned out and replaced for the, the pigs. Actually added a lot more hay in the, their house. Got to give them some scratches. And uh, I touched the baby a couple of times, but she's still skittish, he. But uh, pretty day, but definitely cold. So I got it, I mean, it's kind of fun just to watch the pigs just do their thing kind of relaxing. It's so amazing 
that uh, you can really tell these pigs like clover because uh, when they're grazing, they're not necessarily eating the grass. They're actually finding the clover and uh, they're actually pretty proficient at it. But uh, hey, babies, babies. But uh, they're definitely eating machines. They just eat all day long and take a little time to poop and then eat again. Um, yeah, and they're growing really fast. But uh, they're all uh, doing really well. I'm hoping today my uh, next gen uh, minerals will come in or start giving them a couple of minerals. Uh, kind of balance their diet and uh, before they start really digging um, my understanding is once they get the next gen minerals uh, they won't be searching so much for variety in their food but uh yeah I wish I could uh, describe the peacefulness and the enjoyment of just uh, watching them interact with each other establishing who uh, who the boss is and things like that um, the little baby's doing great um, of course he's smaller so he's probably at a disadvantage but that won't last long a um, couple of weeks he'll be right up there with them um, but yeah what you guys doing So I, uh, I hope you enjoy this minute, just relaxing a little bit, having a puppy come visit once in a while. Hi guy. I really do think the pigs like, like the dogs, but a lot of times they gotta be careful be, they uh, become a victim to the fence both the dog and the pigs <laughs> so up yep. hi baby all right guys let's move on well guys a little later in the day and i see our clouds are coming in a little bit so so much for the blue skies i think uh it's been kind of a pleasant video. I got a chance to spend a little time with the piggies today. But I think one of the realizations that's really starting to hit me is, uh, and I think I feel it more this year than last year, uh, because we didn't have the greenhouse and all the gardens and uh, the pigs and stuff and the growing towers we have over here and stuff. And uh, knowing, <laughs> or, like in the greenhouse, I had water freeze in the uh, uh, Dutch bucket system. Never had a Dutch bucket system before, so um, all I know is I have this, you know, new feeling of winter coming, and uh, even you know, as you build things in your homestead, you know, you always want to keep in mind the, the different seasons. And uh, it's kind of funny how little things you build or little things you engineer, uh, you know, you have to think through all the seasons. And who would have thought that I'd have worry? You never hear about people talking about their hydroponic system freezing. Um, at least it's the first time for me. And so I don't know what, what my point is here other than the fact winter's coming and winter changes things. Uh, just like all the other seasons. Uh, summer it was hot. And, or when we have fall when everything's dying and just leaves are falling. And spring comes and all these new flowers and weeds show up that you've never seen before. And uh, uh, nature's having their babies and things like that. But winter's coming. And on this homestead we have new problems 
to address as it comes. And uh, we don't know what all those problems may be. Uh, we've covered all the problems we would have had last year, like blowing out our uh, watering system. And, uh, you know, uh, now I've got to rely on water more than ever. What happens if all my water hoses freeze all day long? Um, what's my plan? I think it's going to be five gallon buckets in the bathtub <laughs> and hand delivery of water to my animals. And uh, eggs this year are definitely slower and I'm not used to that. Although it's not hurting us, but I'm not used to only getting two or three eggs a day. I'm used to seven to 10. So anyway, winter's here, contemplating what I need to know, what I haven't thought about, and what, just like I said with the Dutch buckets, what surprises do I have this year that I didn't have last year? So anyway, food for thought. That's why you want to stay in our channel because you never know what all these new things are uh, going to happen. And uh, what you got? What you got, Bill? Got my puppies here. And they're kind of like, Dad, why are you just standing there um, talking to your camera again? So anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here for today. <laughs> Leave it at that. Just knowing winter's on the way. Oh boy. <laughs> so guys, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate that. It really does help. And if you want one of these awesome beanies, just go in the description below, find the link to it, go to Amazon and snag you a really nice little beanie. These are nice beanies. And, uh, don't forget poopy bags and stuff. So guys, have a great day and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.